Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Welcome to the ADK channel. And for today's video, Andy and Kirk have no idea what's ahead of them. Uh, I do as I press the pause button when we want to talk. And we will break it down and stop the song at a few points during uh, to chat about it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, 30 seconds in. What are we thinking, Andy? I'll be very surprised if, if this isn't classic American hardcore. Um, the sort of opening sort of hanging riffs reminded me of a, a song by one of the purveyors of this game way back called Judge. But yeah, I'm um, liking it already. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know nothing about this band. Um, I'll tell you about the band at the end, obviously, unless you guess it. Um but yeah, it's uh yeah, as you say, the hardcore scene feels a little bit more the aggress the vocals feel more aggressive. They're getting a bit more guttural, they're trying to be a bit more death metally almost in a way, uh, versus the kind of the more shouty, cleaner style of the hardcore scene. But uh, apart from that, yeah, it's pretty cool. Wanna see where it goes? Kirk? The type of punk music punk music that I can listen to, and it is because of the aggression of the vocals. And also I like the did, again, did you hear the downtune bass in there? I think that that's really prominent in the mix. And um, I'm expecting this to go in more of a metal direction. That's what it seems to be working towards. So, yeah, I would definitely be interested to in this song and to continue listening to it. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. Any guesses on the band? I mentioned Judge earlier. It sounded very much like the vocalist Mike Judge, but I don't know if he, if he went into some other projects. That looks sort of quite recent-ish, but no, I can take a guess. Okay. Kirk, any ideas? I would guess that's late 90s or early 2000s, judging by the fashion, <laughs> the, the way they've shot the video in slow motion. Yeah. And also... It doesn't work, though. I mean, does it, Kirk? You? I don't know. It has that. It has that edge, you know. Before metalcore became a thing and became sterilised and anodyne, when it was still edgy. To me, that sounds like it's possibly 1999. I, I feel I should know this band, so apologies in advance if it's a band that I, I'm familiar with and haven't guessed the artist. 
Okay, so I will let you know. It's the the band is called Strife. I know the name. Never listened to them. Uh, really? The album is In This Defiance from 1997, uh, and the song was blistered. And I want the reason like this this album killed this song came out is I want to tell you who's involved in this album. So you've got the guys at the main band. So you've got Tur- Todd Turner, Andrew Klein, Rick Rodney, Sid Nielsen, and Chad Peterson. Additional musicians that were all featured on this album. Igor Cavalera, Chino Marino, Dino Cazares, Tony Moore, Ryan Cox, Jesse Austin, Justin Gordo Deda, John Turnham, Dom at Brooklyn House, David STS, uh, Mark Aiken, Darren Doan, Aaron Smith, Jen Eisel, Vic Galino, Ian Gent, Bobby Canada, David Cousins, Zach Gordner, Dan Raw, Jeff Moore, Weddy Moore, Aaron Bruno, John Monray, Ben Reed, Dirty Ass Dan, Party Up, Stacy, Nick Johnson, David. Sorry, there's, there's about another 20 on here. <laughs> they must have set a record for the most number of guests on a on most a, of rock them, out of guitar back, album. backing vocals. So all the gang vocals were done by lots of people. They got all their, it looks like they just got all their mates in, but we had uh, Dino did some additional guitar works and backing vocals. Chino did additional vocals on one of the songs, and Igor did additional drums on the album. So it was just the fact that there was all these people involved in it, and I'm like, I've never heard of this band before, but why in 1997 did these guys just suddenly go, yeah, yeah, we'll help you out and appear on your album and record stuff for you? I was just like, it's a bit out of the blue, but it, I enjoyed it. It was kind of hardcore and energetic it sounds of its time for me sounds like as you said like late 90s wasn't anything special but it wasn't bad either so i quite enjoyed it good listen for what two and a half minutes andy yeah i really enjoyed it i mean i, I think me and kurt both knew when that breakdown was coming you thought yeah here it comes here it comes yeah and it was very typical of the style and yeah i really enjoyed it um you might have picked up what I was saying, Kurt, when we were chatting just a minute ago. That sort of slow mo effect on on the video. I don't think the music's too fast for that to sort of mm. work. I, I have seen that effect, and also, you know, um, Evanescence is uh, Bring Me to Life, for example. I think it, it, they employ that met that, and it, it, it kind of works. That song's obviously a lot slower in tempo, but it did work there, and it did look very dated. The, the, the look of the video, but yeah, excellent track. I've noted it down. I'll, I'll be listening to that album. That was. My kind of thing, I'd like to say, just sort of getting into more deeply, sort of, you know, hardcore, metallic hardcore, which is what this is. I love the gang vocals and everything. And Dirty Ass Dan, he needs to check it out as well. Just, you know, <laughs> well, what material has he got out there? He sure, sounds like that, yeah. Uh, Kirk? I know that Igor Cavalera appeared on an album for that band Integrity and I think it was came out at, a, at the same time as this one certainly in a, in a similar period Strife I do know the name not listen to the music and even though we say that as is as of its time sorry is, is, the, yeah. is the phrase in 1997 these and Hatebreed were really taking it to the next level so that breakdown from that term probably didn't even exist in 1997 to describe that because it's something that's become so common in the 21st century, isn't it? And it, it proves there as well, you don't need a guitar solo when you've got a breakdown, but also, Dave, you must have appreciated that huge drum fill leading up to the, yeah, <laughs> leading up no, to the, like uh, the, drums. the breakdown. Drums are cool. Uh, excellent song. Uh, I think you feel like you list, it's almost like a history lesson, isn't it? When you get a band like that, because you know that they've been so influential and it just it reminds you again metalcore started off with the best of intentions and now look what it's become it's just so it's just so uninspiring isn't it and there's too much pop elements in it that is just so edgy the aggression you just know yeah. that if you saw that live it would be such a rough gig you just get caught up in in the intoxication of violence and probably enjoy it so i, I yeah again like you and I'd, I'd definitely be checking these out strife great name you know they're a hardcore band just with a name, don't you? I wonder if pit bands like Own Your Life would be into these guys. Oh, definitely. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they probably know about them as well. So, yeah. uh, Anyway, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.